Need to welcome everybody. It's my AR drone 2.0 first outdoor flight. Don't expect any crazy acrobatics. I'm just trying to learn this thing, but I want to get better at it. I'll post some really killer stunts when I learn them. But uh, I go pretty high. I get to play around, and, and, and really at one point I was, I was a little afraid that I was going to lose my drone from the height and the wind. It's a pretty windy day. Uh, you'll be able to see that when I cut to the drone video. Uh, and you can see the, um, the vent on the top of my house spinning. Uh, I'm ahead there. I'm wearing a Hero 3 cam. It's set at 1440 and 48p. Uh, frames per second, sorry. You can see the, the thing spinning on the house there. I think the drone records at 720p. Pretty windy day. Kind of getting the footing. Uh, really impressed you know with the range of the Wi-Fi and things on this uh, Nexus 7 tablet that's a Nexus 7 32 gigabyte tablet there I've got a uh, an unboxing and a couple of reviews on it posted if you'd like to see them there I go going pretty high now I didn't put any effects or do anything to the GoPro video or the uh, AR drone video that's the way it came uh, directly off of I want to play with some effects and things on these videos, some stabilizers, maybe some color correction. We're going to see what we can do. I'm going to post the same video, but I'm going to post it in a different format. I want to post um, picture in picture, uh, the video from the drone and the video from the, the GoPro, and see which one seems to go better, uh, which ones people seem to like better, and that's the way I'll post from now on. Um, I'm going to mount the GoPro Hero 3 on the bottom of this AR drone and I have a Hero 2 that I'll wear on my head from now on but I'm, I'm still getting the kinks worked out of that uh, you can see the video of where I'm building the housing and we're doing the weights and everything it's it's on here too if there's any suggestions you guys want to see uh, if there's anything you want to see done with this or or what can be done let me know I'm willing to try it we'll give it a shot um, we're going to try to keep it as light as we can and still get the GoPro 3 mounted on the bottom of this sucker. I didn't know until I did this video that I need a shingle on my roof. So, you know, this thing may have paid for itself in, in roofing repairs. Now, if you can see it there, it'll, it'll, there you go. See my shingle. I missed my shingle. So, this is the West Virginia Mountains, by the way, if we're in the southern West Virginia in Mingo County. Home of the Hatfield McCoy. Hatfield McCoy feud. Um, my house is pretty dirty and I really need to clean it but it's winter time and I just can't see getting out there with a pressure washer it's not, uh, not the time of year for that a lot of side by side movement I'm, I'm trying to, to get used to the, the drone and how it flies man it's a beautiful piece of technology I really really like it um, I've got an iPhone um, but the, of course the Nexus tablet is, is bigger. I flew pretty high up there and uh, didn't seem to lose any contract, contact. I'm also streaming video uh, from the drone to the tablet. I've read and I've seen on other YouTube videos that that sometimes interferes with the operation, but I didn't have any trouble. Uh, seemed to respond to me really well. I've got it in the, um, I think they call it complete control mode. Basically that the drone has complete control. Um, it's really neat because you don't have to remember the orientation of the drone. You tilt the tablet towards you, it comes towards you, tilt it away, it goes away. It doesn't matter what direction the drone is facing. And I spin the drone here in a minute. There we go. And you see the other side of the mountains. You know, I live in a valley. I'm surrounded with wilderness. Now, one day I'll get brave enough and maybe get a GoPro mounted on the bottom. And I fly up and show you how deep in the mountains I really am. I'm deep. I was surrounded with miles of wilderness. And there's a uh, six mile road that connects us to the nearest store. Get my barn out there for my horses, my workshop, 